Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jasmine It Up. And today's video that I have for you guys is going to be my Bath and Body Works inventory. I do know that I have a lot of stuff, but filming this video really made me realize that I have 20 of the exact same product and I really need to focus in on what I have and enjoy what I have instead of spending more money. So for the rest of the year, except I'm giving myself one time, which is the fall winter sale that they have where everything goes 75% off. Fall scents and the winter scents are my favorite. So I do want to stock up on those because everything is so cheap during that time. But in 2019, I'm going to be doing a no buy. And in a future video, I will go in depth of what that means. And that'll be towards the end of the year. But I do want to share with you guys what I have now. I'm very excited for this video because I love Bath and Body Works so much and I hope you guys enjoy it so we're gonna jump right into it so I'm going to start off with the larger fine fragrances and this one I'm just gonna start off with because it's in different packaging compared to all the other ones and it is the chestnut in Oregon this is a really nice scent um, I have the matching body butter to go with this so I can't wait to use them together and then lined up here I have a bunch of scents that are more romantic that I use um, more for long lasting so this one is the Paris when they came out with a collection of different places they connected it to some scents so this is the Paris scent next I have a thousand wishes which is one of my favorites it won an award for best selling I think it's a beautiful scent very long lasting next I have hello beautiful which is perfect for the springtime there's just something about these that I gravitate the most towards the next one I have here is Paris Amour which is very similar to this Paris but this one smells better. There's something in here that isn't in this one. But I love both of them. I'm trying to use the Paris Amour first because it is older than the Paris one. And lastly, the, I just picked up the Dark Kiss from the semi-annual sale. So that one is completely full. This next group I don't gravitate towards too much. I have Coconut Lime Breeze. It's a very summery scent. But I don't particularly like smelling like this. This is a nice maybe room spray but I don't particularly use it on my body that often. The same with this eucalyptus spearmint. I don't want to really smell like this. It's perfect for at night to spray my pillows before I go to sleep. Out of this group here, the New York one, which was in the same collection as the Paris one, when they connected places to scents, this is the most used out of this collection here, I think. But I also do enjoy this Tokyo Lotus one right here. This is newer to my collection, so I've been enjoying that lately. And the last one all the way over here is the Maui scent. This one came out last summer. It's not my favorite, but I will try and use that one up. This last group here is a very colorful mix. This first one here is one that came last winter. I, this is fresh sparkling snow it's not my favorite scent I had the hand lotion of it and it was a project and a chore to try and use that lotion up but this I'm not sure how I'm gonna quite use that up yet this next one here is sweet tropical vanilla it smells nothing tropical to me it just smells like vanilla which I don't mind it's perfect to pair up with um, vanilla be noel lotions next one I have is the sweet magnolia and clementine so I do have a lot of things in that particular scent next thing I have is this be joyful scent came out during the winter time it's a very nice scent I can't wait to finish that up and one of my favorites lately is this white mocha kiss they came out with a Tutti Dolce line and this is one of my favorite they came out with a few more scents and colors of this particular one and this smells almost vanilla-y and I do enjoy it. It's a very calming scent to me and it's very sweet. So here is my entire collection of the fine fragrance mist. I did miss one. It was sitting on top of my desk and this is the Wild Honeysuckle. I'm trying to use this up for this summer for the next couple months. So in total I have 17 larger fine fragrance mist. It'll be definitely a long project to try and finish these up. But if I put myself on hold from purchasing any of these, I think I can do it. Next category is all the small fine fragrances that I have. These are perfect for travel. This first one that I have here is Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. This scent is not my favorite, but it is nice. I'll use this up. Um, it's about halfway done, I'd say. And I'm trying to really get through these because they're only really perfect for travel. I don't use them for anything else. Next one that I have here is Cashmere Glow. It's one of my favorite ones. Very calming, very fallish. Next one I have here is a nice summery scent. This is Tahiti Island Dream. It has a green liquid in it. The packaging is really cute. This one, it'll be um, harder to get through because it's mostly full. Next one I have here is one of my favorite scents, like I've been saying, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. This is a beautiful um, fall scent. 
um, has pumpkin in it, but it's also sweeter because of the marshmallow. So this one is about halfway empty. Next thing that I have here is the Endless Weekend. This is not my favorite scent. I picked it up because everyone else was loving it, but it just smells like alcohol to me. And I know it's because it's not old because I did pick this up recently. Um, it's more than halfway empty because I've been just trying to use it up. Next one I have here, um, this one's alright, this is the Vineyard Champagne Kiss. I tend to pick up scents that I don't have, whether I love them or not, and this was just one of them. It's nice, but it's not my favorite, I need to use this up quickly. Next one I have here is the Napa Valley Sunset, which was in um, the same collection as the Vineyard one. All of these are pretty much halfway done. This one I do love, this is a Sweet Magnolia and Clementine. And the last and final one that I have here was a gift, this is Magic in the Air, this I just got for Christmas, so it's barely used up so these are all of my mini fragrance sprays and I did forget one this is the fresh Brazil citrus this is wonderful for the summer I'm really enjoying it it's like a clean citrusy scent and I use this when I get out of the shower so in total here I have 10 of these to get through so these are all my candles that I have so all the way to the left here I have a one wick candles these are really tiny I will not be purchasing these anymore because it does not give a huge scent throw I do prefer the three wick candles I also have this medium sized one as you can see right there it's also a one wick candle and I have five of the larger ones so the first one wick candle that I have here which is actually medium size is toasted coconut this smells very woodsy and almost like mahogany it doesn't smell too much like coconut to me so this will be nice to use towards the beginning of the fall next one I have here which is island margarita I'm trying to use all the summer scents in the little one wick candles um, like I said before, I will not be purchasing these anymore because they don't have too much scent throw. But one that does have a good scent throw is the Georgia Peach. Even though this one is so little, it does give good scent throw. One that I can use towards the nighttime is the Eucalyptus Mint. It is very calming. I have a couple fall ones here. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, one of my favorite scents. I do want to pick up a three wick candle of that one. And I do enjoy pumpkin pecan waffles. It's a beautiful um, fall scent. And I would love to pick up the three wick candle of that too. I already have the three wick candle of the Tiki Mango Mai Tai. So I do want to get through this one. Another summery one I have is this Tiki Beach here. I have another one here which can also be used in the winter or the fall. Is the Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. It's a very nice scent. And last but not least I have this Mahogany Teakwood which definitely would be used in the fall time because it's very woodsy and it almost smells like cologne. So this first three wick candle that I have here is Tiki Mango Mai Tai and it has scents of jasmine, mango, and nectar. So this one is actually one of my favorites. Next one I have is Peach Don't Kill My Vibe which is peach bellini and it has peach in it and it has orange in it as well. I have one that smells like coffee. This is the Paris Cafe. It just smells like straight coffee. I do love the scent of it. Some people are not a fan of it. Next one I have is a Christmas one and it is spiced gingerbread. Um, this one I'm actually almost done with if you guys can see that there. This will definitely be used up in the beginning of fall time. And the last one which is my most recent recent one is the lavender marshmallow one this smells very sweet like candy or cupcakes I really do enjoy this one so next up I have these wallflower plugins this one that I have right here in my hand is watermelon lemonade and this is the one that is currently plugged in right now next up I have this cucumber melon one so this will be nice to use maybe during the springtime next one I have like I said before is the Georgia peach um, it's one of my favorite scents, so I definitely wanted to get a wallflower of this guy. Next one, which is nice, clean scent, but also very summery, is the Fiji White Sands. It's a nice, clear um, liquid, so this is the next one that I picked up. I also have one that's perfect for, I think, the fall and winter, is Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is a nice, sweet vanilla scent, very calming. And the final one that I have is this White Gardenia one. This is more of a floral scent. So next I will be moving into body wash. This one is not a body wash. This is the Winter Candy Apple Body Scrub. But this is the only scrub I have from Bath & Body Works so I thought I'd throw it in here. This is a wonderful scent. One of my favorites for the winter time. And then over here lined up I have all of my 
body shower gels so i have a travel size of a thousand wishes will definitely be used when we travel to pennsylvania i have wild madagascar vanilla here which is a discontinued scent but one of my favorites pear berry is a new scent to my collection but it smells delightful i have paris amour which is a very romantic scent and it's beautiful and i also have a sweet magnolia and clementine which is also one of my favorite scents perfect for the springtime i have a few room sprays for to be exact this first one here is mahogany coconut like that one wick candle it smells very woodsy like more mahogany than coconut this scent just overtakes the entire bathroom and it even lingers to the hallway this next one here is mango mai tai one of my favorite scents next one here which is very similar i have georgia peach also one of my favorite scents i love the peach for the summertime and last but not least the one we use during the winter and fall usually is black cherry merlot so the next category i have lined up over here are all body butters but i did want to share that i have one hand lotion this is the be happy hand lotion with honey butter this sits on my nightstand and i'm actually almost done with it and i predict that this will be completely used up by the end of the summer so moving into these body butters i have three larger size ones which is 10 fluid ounces i have snowy morning here this is a newer scent to me i haven't even smelled it yet winter candy apple one of my favorite winter scents like i said before vanilla be noel a classic next one i have here is chestnut and argan this is a newer scent to me i do have the body spray of this i also have right here this is lavender and sandalwood this one i just picked up at the bath and body works annual sale and i also have marshmallow pumpkin latte this is one of my all-time favorite scents that they have and i have a smaller two ounce of the winter candy apple which will be perfect for travel as well so these body butters i need to get through here is the first batch of these Ultra Shea body creams. These are also 8 fluid ounces. These are my favorite things that Bath & Body Works make. I absolutely love the formula. So this first batch here is more seasonal scents. So starting on the left, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, one of the best scents that they've ever come out with. Another bestseller is the Winter Candy Apple. So this one is completely full. Sugar Plum Swirl, got that as a gift, not too bad. Be Joyful, has a big dent in it. Can't wait to use that up this winter. Merry Berry Christmas, also got this as a gift, love the packaging, and pumpkin spice and everything nice is very similar to the pumpkin latte, and this is completely full, I absolutely love the pumpkin scents that Bath & Body Works has. Next up I have purple packaging lotions, it just looks aesthetically pleasing to me. Right here on the left I have Dark Kiss, just picked this up in the semi-annual so it's completely full. Thousand Wishes, I have a good dent in that one, I absolutely love that scent. Golden Honey Praline is a really nice scent, completely full. French Lavender and Honey, completely full just picked up at the semi-annual sale and one that is also completely full is a sweet summer sunset this is the wild berry and chamomile i just picked this up at the semi-annual sale i have a condition i know i have so many lotions here next i have cabana breeze which i picked up last year this is a wonderful summer scent the Tutti Dolce White Mocha Kiss, absolutely wonderful. It smells a little vanilla-y, which I do not mind. The Wild Honeysuckle here is what I'm trying to use up for this summer. Sensual Amber, just picked this up as a semi-annual sale as well. And this is the Butterfly Flower. This one is not my favorite. I liked it in the store, but not so much now, but I will use that up. So in total with these body creams, I have 17 of them. So here's the first batch of lotions. These are the body lotions, eight fluid ounces, and these are more summery scents that I have. So starting here on the left, Bukiki Beach Coconut, really enjoy this scent. We have Golden Magnolia and it says sun on the side. Malibu Heat, I just got in the semi-annual sale. Hibiscus Guava Fresca, it smells really nice and sparkling limoncello is very limiting in citrus so these are the first ones i have here and most of these are completely full maybe a couple uses out of each one next batch here this is an older one you can tell by the packaging how it has a round top compared to these which have a more rectangular top so over here on the left which is currently in my purse i'm trying to use this one up because it is the oldest is strawberry sparkler it smells really nice of light strawberry next one i have here is beautiful day a classic scent from them pretty as a peach love the scent it's peach bellini in there bourbon and strawberry and vanilla smells similar to this strawberry one which is why i'm trying to get out of it because i have another one and guava pineapple splash right here so this is the next batch 
And these are the last five that I have. On the left, I have Sea Island Cotton. It smells like laundry. Pure Paradise, a nice summery scent. I'm almost done with that one. Um, Paris Amour and Wild Vanilla Mascar just got both of those in the semi-annual sale, so those are both completely full. I'm going to push those towards the back since they are newer. And a Cup of Warmth, which is all the way over here, a beautiful scent. And in total, I have 15 of these kind of lotions, the 8 fluid ounces, so that is quite a bit to go through. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, which is down below. Right next to it, there will be a little bell that you can click on so you get notified when I upload new videos i do upload on mondays and fridays twice a week and my instagram is always listed down below so you can follow me and tag me in any of your beauty photos i hope you guys um enjoyed the inventory that i showed you i have a lot of stuff i realize i have a condition with bath and body works it can be an addiction comment down below your favorite item that bath and body works sells i hope you guys have a great day